Hello, Regan here, and welcome to <laughs> part one of my Vulture Mine adventure. I made a quick mock up using cardstock, of course. Um, it's all in uh, one quarter scale, which is like, what is that? Like 148 scale. I figured it was like the easiest because it's the size of uh, graph paper I had handy to make the mock up. And I got started with just the cabin first going to be doing uh finishing the outhouse and also doing the hanging tree that's outside of Wickenburg's cabin which is the cabin I'm working on we're also going to get into some of the other uh, outbuildings and stuff that are there there's quite a bit the um people that are running it now um I'm not sure like how much is them and how much was somebody that had it before that, but they've done quite a bit of restoration and rebuilding. I mean, just like Wickenburg's cabin was to the point where it was just a pile of rubble. So that's kind of neat that they're actually like bringing things back and have it set up pretty nice. So I'm hoping to get out there uh, relatively soon and uh, get some, some footage and stuff there in person, showing off some of the other things that are there <laughs> like the 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 glory hole which is actually it's a capped off mining uh, mine shaft basically they have some some lights going down it so you can get a, a feel for how far down it goes it's absolutely crazy and there's just like a really like a lot of neat stuff there um if you have checked out my podcast twisted states i did an episode there that included information talking about the Lost Dutchman mine. And one of the theories, some of the speculation that they have is that the gold that was being presented as supposedly coming from Lost Dutchman mine was actually gold stolen from the vulture mine. So, you know, that's a, just another one of those theories that's out there. And, uh, I mean, when you look at things, eh, it's... It, 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 it scans it it works it's big a big possibility but anyway uh yeah i'm just i've had a lot going on so i haven't had as much time to work on things as i wanted but i at least wanted to get something up check in with everybody and say yes i am still working on this and i haven't abandoned it yet <laughs> i don't plan on abandoning it i'm actually really looking forward to uh, creating this entire diorama and um it's been, it's been fun just doing like, because as I'm working on this, I'm looking into a lot of the, the history and the information and, and doing a lot of research into um, that area, which I had done some before, but I'm really like getting into the meat of things now. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty fascinating. It's, you know, I mean, that was, that was the wild west. Things were pretty, pretty crazy back then. So I used a mechanical pencil and drew all the textures in myself as far as like the brick and the stonework goes. I have rollers for these, but it's just kind of fun to do it with pencil and <laughs> just, and since it's such a small building, it didn't take me that long and I figured it was no big deal. I really, really, really enjoy how these type of builds go because it just looks like nothing all the way up until you start painting it you know it's just like oh look it's just some random little sheets of styrofoam like no big deal or whatever um but you know projects I've done in the past I have a, a a long house that I built uh that was tabletop terrain and I also did a Baba Yaga hut that my Baba Yaga's hut has little 3d printed chicken feet <laughs> I love that thing it's like one of my one of my favorite builds um and you know they just they look like nothing when you first start they're just some foam and a little bit of paint and a little bit of accents and stuff you hear little little greebles and things um you know really boost those items into something really amazing and uh it just it never ceases to amaze me it's like one of my like favorite art forms is to make uh stuff out of out of styrofoam it's like one of my favorite materials to work with and the way it just just blows my mind like i'll never never stop being amazed by how cool these things turn out uh and you know my skill yeah i've been crafting for a long time but i'm definitely not the best 
uh, <laughs> not the worst, I don't think, but uh, not the best either. Um, and for me, as like this middle of the road uh, artist to be able to take these materials and make these cool, cool things out of them like that, that I can be proud of. Like, it, it's pretty awesome. So, yeah. <laughs>